Hey folks, Madam is here. This weekend I'm hosting a yurt building workshop on the farm. Very exciting to have 10 participants come and learn how to build a yurt from start to finish. I'm going to be recording a lot of the process and what we do throughout the weekend. So I'll be excited to share that with you. But today, I need to put together a platform that this year is going to sit on. So, follow me today and I'm going to put together a 14 foot yurt platform. Nice and simple, just a basic platform and it's going to be great because it'll give the yurt something to sit on. It'll allow us to set the yurt up nice and easy, level base. Uh, and it's such a perfect little platform for such a perfect little yurt. So yeah, let's check it out. The first step of course is to mill up some lumber. So I have uh, quite a bit of uh, poplar and I have some basswood and I use that to mill up the lumber that I use to build this platform. I needed some 4x4s by, uh, by 14, so I milled up eight of those, and I milled up some 2x6 by, uh, by 14, um, actually by 10 and by 9, uh, for the floor itself. I used uh, poplar and I used basswood. Um, I have some of that already here on site so it was convenient to be using and as you can see uh, I can get a quite a bit of lumber out of some of the size of this material.
I used the tractor to bring over the lumber that I had milled. It certainly makes things a little more uh, easy and less backbreaking. I chose a spot in the garden, at the end of the garden, where we could build the yurt uh, for the yurt workshop. This is where I chose to set up the platform itself. It looked like a fairly level uh, area. Uh, despite how it looked, there was still a little bit of a slope to the ground. So you can see now that I'm spending some time leveling out the 4x4 base that I'm going to use to put the top floor on. This is important because the yurt is uh, really susceptible to an unlevel ground. So it's really important when you do set up a yurt that it is on as level of ground as possible. Even though you can set it up on on level ground, it makes the job a lot easier, uh, the setup a lot smoother, and it just looks a lot better. What I noticed when I milled up my lumber is the poplar and the uh, basswood uh, had kind of a little bit of different coloring to it. So I assembled them in a kind of a crosshatch um, pattern. Uh, it, I think it looks really sharp. It was a little more of a pain, but it worked out good. Once the floor was on, I had to cut the circle out. So I measure a 14 foot circle with a string and proceed to cut. I use a chainsaw where I normally use a jigsaw because this lumber is green so it, it's a little more difficult to work with. Once the platform's assembled, around the edge uh, I put this little um, kind of a catch, a lip, and what this does is it serves the yurt to not slide off the edge and lets the walls kind of rest against something while the yurt gets set up so they don't get kicked off the base. That's pretty much it. A 14 foot yurt platform is pretty simple. Uh, and this one especially so because it's not meant to be permanent. Thanks for watching. Your support goes a long way to help me in my mission to preserve and conserve endangered heritage breeds, skills, and knowledge. Like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content that I'm making. And until next time, happy farming.